Meredith Morakovic standing by with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, it absolutely does begin with the starting pitching. Garrett Cole can really set a tone for the Yankees in game one today. Garrett Cole to be their ace this afternoon. They really need to lean on him and have him set that tone. And he's actually pitching in his first Subway series. Now, last time out, Cole struggled a little bit, giving up five earned runs and five innings pitched. I spoke to him the other day about that outing and perhaps some adjustments he will make coming into this afternoon. I thought that I got stronger as the game went on, but the delivery in the first wasn't allowing me to, to make pitches. Um, I've looked over it um you know there's a little bit of there's a little bit of um slightly slightly different tempo um and and uh slightly different rhythm to it um and so just looking to try to slide into that earlier uh and play catch this week and and, and went through the routine with with that intent there's one thing to identify it, one thing to be able to change it. How easy are those fixes for you? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're uh, well, I guess we'll see, but uh, I mean, you know, it comes down to, it really comes down to the Devers pitch. I mean, if, if, if I uh, live to die another day and get that ball out of the strike zone, uh, maybe things are a bit different. So, um, you know, we'll look to improve on on the things that we can control in terms of delivery and executing the pitches and and uh, and hopefully you know hopefully if that hopefully that helps the execution uh, and if not you know hopefully maybe we get away with you know those mistakes in, in some critical situations early and um, and allow us to allow us to settle in with the doubleheader, the Yankees could sure use some length from Garrett Cole this afternoon. They did reinstate Wandy Peralta from the injured list. He'll serve as the 27th man. Nestor Cortez is slated to get the ball in game two of this doubleheader. As far as the lineup is concerned, Tim LaCastro will get the nod in left field. It'll be his first start as a Yankee, and he's a kid that grew up in upstate New York, went to Ithaca College. Both he and his family are huge Yankees fans, and you better believe they are all fired up for this afternoon. They were more excited than me because they were having to stay up till 1, 2 in the morning to watch games. So now they can actually watch games on East Coast time. So that's a good thing. What was it like for you to step into that clubhouse, put the pinstripes on? Uh, it's something you literally dream about as a kid and it finally came a reality. And I can't wait to get started with this team. I'm very excited. I told them, any role you need me, if you want me to come off the bench, pinch run, pinch hit, start a game, I'll be ready. I've done those roles my whole career and I'll continue to do that now. Tim, growing up as a Yankee fan, like, do you have any favorite memories of games you went to? Who were your guys? Ooh, I remember I was here uh, when Raul Banez hit the home run in the playoffs. He pinched it for A-Rod, tied the game up, then he won it in, the, I think it was the 12th or 13th. That was probably the coolest and most memorable moment uh, of the recent time. Where were you sitting? I was sitting down on the third baseline, going nuts. I remember. <laughs> we, me and my buddies, we drove down from college in Ithaca, and uh, it was a great experience. And LeCastro told me the other day that he's expecting to have about 40 to 50 family and friends in attendance this afternoon and described getting traded to the Yankees and putting on the pinstripes as a dream come true. Now, Aaron Boone said he really likes his versatility. He's a guy that can play all three outfield positions and has elite speed. Boone said with lefties on the mound, you're often going to see him in center field as this season continues. Now, at about 1230 this afternoon, Corey Kluber was in the outfield here at Yankee Stadium throwing on flat ground continuing the throwing program he's at about 90 feet now after that session i asked corey kluber how his shoulder is holding up and what the next steps will be for him in the rehab process doing good um you know just going through a throwing program uh, i think anybody who who you know goes through an injury obviously would like it to go quicker than it does but just got to try to be smart about it and you know Hopefully, I uh, get myself to a point where when I do come back, I don't have anything that, that reoccurs. Have you felt anything since you started that throwing program? No. I mean, I think that's the point of of giving stuff time to heal and then, you know, being smart about the throwing program is, is hopefully, you know, you do it in an intelligent enough way that you don't feel stuff when, you, you know, the stuff doesn't bother you. What will the progression be? Any idea when you'll actually get on a mount? I haven't looked that far ahead yet. You know, I think that... Uh, I guess I've had too much experience with this the last couple of years, but uh, I think that for me, if I start looking ahead to that, I, I kind of, I guess don't don't do the best job of trying to, you know, 
attack that day's work the best I can and start looking ahead too far. So I'm just trying to take it a day at a time and, you know, do the best I can with what the schedule is for that day. Are you confident that you're going to make it back this year? Yeah. I don't think I have any reason not to be. And there's no question the Yankees could use Corey Kluber in that rotation. Another guy that is on the mend is Luis Severino. They are hoping to get him back at some point in time this season. He'll throw another bullpen session, most likely with the Somerset Patriots. Aaron Boone said that he will not travel with the team on this road trip. Zach Britton is also scheduled to throw another bullpen, and he could rejoin this team as early as next week. Boone said probably not Tuesday in Seattle, but not too long thereafter. That would be another boost for the bullpen.